Sia pambili batandegayo ngesifundo setu esteta itemba egufeni. Lamlanje singena kusifundo sesine minaye nkumalani umfundi si uchi mdilo. Ngo saengi la wana bazvesi. Nyalibi ngelela batandegayo ngeka maliga chesu oza umasinyani. Sia bonga ungena esifundo ni sesine okulumayo mutalenti mwa. Sugo lutenjalo batandegayo benkosi. Ukuhlangana ngane sifundwe ni esilinga itemba pakati kwa guo okuluma yo mfundi simila tube. Sali wanani valaleli. Sia la mge la esifundwe ni okuluma yo muskatile ngube. Astume zeni skule geni. Baba wetu ose zulwini. Sia bunga kubana susilansi lenjalo. Kubana sifunde isifundo sako. Tinga anuwa suku mchela. Sizwe kwenda ganyi. Ufuna siku uzwe ngosuna na mtanje. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Si awo nga batande nga wana sitlanga ni njalo gule ni ifige di cha. La besi kangela kona itemba le testamenti elitala. Itemba le testamenti elitala. Aguspa lele ama heperu ngu 11, u verse 17, le verse 19. Ama heperu 11, verse 17. Tingogu kolwa wati u Abrahama elingwe mungulu nkulu. Wanigela u Isaga jengo mtache. Mm-hmm. Yena owa ya mugele, owa ya mugele izi tembiso. Wayese setuze uguba anigele indotana yake e yotu anjalo e yogu pela. Mm. Langa unkulunkulu wayete guye mo isa kuzavela inzalo yako mm-hmm. owa itenjiswayo. Mm-hmm. U Abrahama wanagana uguti unkulunkulu wayenga bavusa abafile njalo mm. nqa kuze ku njalo nqa kuzekelwa wa mamukela u Isaka evela ekufeni wa mamukela u Isaka evela ngapi ekufeni ekufeni kakambe umbhalo lo uchoni kungenzeka njani umuntu ongasekho awe abe khona na ose ngumlotha awe aphile na Umuntu owafa kutalatala awe apile njalo. Awo nagale enguye mpela mpela na. Mm. Nga asikarele sitoko salamu sanje itemba itasamende nili tala. Mm. Kwe hini esi kufumana yo kula ama vesi la wule sitoko salamu sanje na. Mina nyabonga balalele wabugele la bafoe tlapu guti unkulu unkulu. Unoke ezi vesu guti indalo ivele guye. Mm-hmm. Sifunda ngu Abraham Agutuwa ngu baba wakukono mm-hmm. Uguti ye na lae Wawazu guti Gutenju nkulu nkulu mm-hmm. Nga yesea nigela uisaka Wae wazu guti Umli muvelu tika gabulani mm-hmm. Pati nga kutu Wae tena Ngifunu mnigelu Kutu wae kolu Guta nga kreta Umsebe nzo guta Nigelu mtanaki Uza atala pansa tinkozi Uwe nola mando Uvusu watala Uvusu nga mbila yeka mm-hmm. So nge njila sifundu guti Indaba yen Yoku pila Igu nkulu nkulu mm-hmm. Uza esile kanja nga watala. Mm. Kambu kwa umi kwa umtaka. Unga zikonya anti ya, ya sifizu. Umi fute hii. Mm. Andi ngula manta kwa. Mm. So indaba ya kufuka singa yesabi. Nga kutuwa itemba. Let's see tala. Babe tila nga be patuwe zinsupu. Begu wa tunkulu nkulu kona. Jengu apramu. Wakolu kutunkulu nkulu. Ula manta. Unga yaguma kubwa. Rapa 33 verse 6 to 9. Mm. Ia chukuti impilo. Yeza ngunkulu nkulu. Etala kunga laluto. Mm. Ngelizu wa tala. Mm. So unkulu nga wene. Nisuku leti impilo. Kusuke ntene ngeko. Ngelati ni X ni hilo. Right. Kuchukuti laka tesi nga zesi chabalali. Mm-hmm. Uya sibuisa la ngoba manta gui. Mpili mm. gui. Inisa la hoti vileti nase kwa. Isi na vileti kwa. Nga kareli pans. Ya. Agas, agus fundele. Mwota kwele usam. 33 vese nga sese gane ni echi o mfundi mm. sila. Ama kubo ngu. Ya. 33 vese nga sese lega 9. 3 vese nga lega 6. Mm. Lega 9. Tiona ngelizi liga Chehova ama zulu henziwa. Mm-hmm. Mkanya mkanya lwezi mkanyezi ngomoya wa mdomo wati. Mm-hmm. Uya wakoka ama nzi olua nde awatele ezi ndiweni. Mm-hmm. Atululele ezi nzigi zolua nde ezi pale. Mm-hmm. Daba wonke kawesabe u Chehova. Aguti wonke abantu bomhlaba bazithobe pambi wake. Mwuguba wakuluma Wase kwa bakona. Mm. Sisi si ya wonga utu. Uwe sese wa itakata enda ba wubana. Ayi. Singe sabi. Uche hova. Ongu mnini mpilo. Mpile vela guye. Mm-hmm. Singaze sife. Uza uwe njani. Ayi lete njalo. Mpilo. Mm. Ezi mpile nizetu. Mm. Tala wana ngichi uti. Ule li vigi. Watandikayo. Sisa wakangela ngogu vuga kwa bafileyo. Mm. Ngen nga zedo, ye testament eli njani? Eli dala. Ufa, mi wana se kang eli testament eli cha wana. Ay, ili kumaga banzi. Kota mm. inda wa yoko vuga. Isuge da gati. Mm. Testament eli dala. Mm. Angaz, kudo ukona kuna zede ukona? Yes. Oguchi kuti kona, aguvumi, uti nge shuka nisengi. Iti mina, nza kukula testament eli dala. Right. Ngeli cha nza ulichi. Mm-hmm. Mwabasi ya kutolo kuti, Inda wa Isuela Emuva. Mm. Testament ili tala. Ekulu mange temba luku vuga wabafile. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Si siya wonga. Si siya wonga. 
I was funded with uh, the 19th anniversary 25 to 27. So, I was born with the other way, and I was born with the other way. I was born with the other way. I was born with the Nyazi ukuthi umhlengi wami uyaphila. Mm. Mm. Lo ukuthi ekupheleni uza kuma emhlabeni. Mm. Uza ukuthi xa isikhumba sami sesibhujisiwe. Kodwa ngikuyo inyama mm. yami ngizambona uNkulunkulu. Mina ngokwami ngizambona ngawami amehlo. Mm. Mm. Mina hachi omunye. Mm. <laughs> Siziyo yami iyakubhazela ngokulangatha. Yeah, <laughs> Ucho wakuluma yo impili ya kesi ya yaza ba nengi. Da nga unga konza ba nengi. Di yaza tu chobe. Ngo munye paka tuko mslaba. Mm -hmm. Opa lepa yipilini. Owa shuguru zega yo kanga. Kwa wazwa sala se, se kukuteke nyameni ya. Mm -hmm. Ukupa mazila. Ngemwa wana lo munga kesete haa. Ngonu tukumli mufi. Mm -hmm. Ati hai. Da nga ngibodi le nginje ya mzimbeni. Nia mazi uya pila. Yeah. Ngobi mpili ya wazi vila kukuluku. Yeah. Kai veri kusendu lagini kutu wakutiku. Yiku wati nia mazi. Mm. Lama se ngibodi nizambuna nga ama mesu. Mm. Nanti temba ba la, la leli. Mm. Ngeni ndela uchesu esiza asimboni setugene. Mm. Kumbwe mm. auzboni au, au sezudini. Mm. Uzambuna nga mesu aku ngoba uyeza loko angu choguza kukwadisa. Uchu wabuza mungu si veze le kuti haiba zara. Yeah. Vele zuni kuza kanjwa bantu bepila benga fango. Uza mbona ngamesu. Mm. Mm. Kakambe ngumoya. Mm. Uza mungu chanutu kasi kambi nge nyini tila. Si kamba semtu mbini wadisi nga bantu si pila. Amesle kangele si mbono jehovu. Mm. Yeah. Si si awo. Si si awo kusaini kwa awo chogute na nasi ngine matune ni. Gia sara kusua matune wata pata. Si njani. Si si chava lele. Uche wute la nasa nginja. Alo inyamame si kukuzwe ya sari nga seko. Ya. Nkumbula ngea ngoswa umi umi nga wansia nga ba umi nga waife kutala tala. Batu wese ya memba dana umi ntu. Kwa tatuwa nila watu tu kolme ndu ta ya ha. Nga futi lea zi ripere ya li. Tatuwa nila watu. Dye yinsa i DNA. Yye yinsa leo DNA. Ya veza wuti, inta wati leli faga lapa ngozbani ngogwaki. <laughs> so ukulumi inta wati, <laughs> ya. Yeah. Uche wuta la ngasa ngifile, i tiene ya miza faga asa. Inza kufuga, so nga so tiene, inga so nita wati. Ay. Ay, si abu ngaru. Awusfundele uche wane wa nifesika 18, uma ume fulu kukuluma. Yes, nina yes, nga tatega kanda. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nga tatega ngo jove. Ya. Yeah. Ekutupege ni uhunje nga loko adila pati nga wako. Right. Transfunda u vesi 6 lo 7. Uti kona, oba ngumundu, oba kulai. Mm -hmm. Wala shake lwa yungfuyo ya. Mm -hmm. Wala shake lwa wabantuan. Mm -hmm. Njoba lisi chukuti, wakukuzika ngichula senya amene. Mm -hmm. Kwa ndilu kuti, ulupega, unga skabela. Kwa sin skati, siya buwana senga tunu kulungkulu sila shiri. Mm -hmm. Kwa sin skati, sin tele, mm -hmm. sikume enle eno kukolo. Mm -hmm. Kwa ta uti jobea nitatege isi. Mm -hmm. Uti nyihazi, mtle nge wame ya pi. Ya pi. Endo uma enjalo, ekini sweni. Agula umtinja. Mm. Mm. Powerful. I was funded with one verse eighteen. Gako or Sewage, one born a Uncle Uncle. Quarter Uncle Uncle Omoye, Yetwa, or Sexelian Ugaise, or Sem Timothy six verse sixteen. I was a civil, I would always assume a temple, Uncle Uncle, who would always look at the Lumundo. Utena Yena Yeto, Ologungafi, O Shalago Canyon, or Melagoson de Lelo, or a Zangi, a bonny moon to only a bonny, Gagobe Guia Utumola Manza, and a Pelio, Amen, each and general office. Thanks for that. I'm forgetting to record my video. Pedal pan, go to. I want to buy a boy. I want to. 
Oza wisa ngukuru ngukuru tuwa nguyo ngafi. Yes. Na asifunu kutisi ngafi. Asikuwa nzeno ngafi. Asikuwa nzeno ngafi. Asikuwa nzeno ngafi. Asikuwa nzeno So, yena yeto ngafi yo. Okay. Siza wia mbona. Mm. Yeah. Na ise siza. Yeah. Ay, ngabundu mea siza. Yeah. Mm. Sikuwa nzeno ngafi. Mm. Yeah. Ukoko hapa <laughs> wetu ule uguzivusa. Yeah. So, angaku tina njani na wetu ule uguzivusa. <laughs> Sia buonga uguti sikuwa nze uchesu. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Onguye uwati sefile wavu. Yeah. Wavu. Yes. Amanda unalawo ulawo uguti sisa pila. Siku nanzelele da uguti estamentele da. Mm. Uguti nga sisa pila. Kumele si mkonze uguenze uguti. Acho na mazo kwa chwe 13 verse 15. Mm. La pete ya nana noma enga ngibulala. Mm. Ngeza kwa la nye temba yungu siyami. Mm. Nye loo ndezi ndela zami. Acho na loo makamu. Ose chila wa mafichane utatue tula. Mm. Yes. O, 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 o nga nanzelela. Aba ntaba ya yesaba ugufa. Mm. Kumbe nginga tabandu wati ngangi sesaba ugufa. Yeah. Mm. Ngangi sesaba ugufa kuche njisu kuti ugukolo wami kawe ya manga kulo ola manja ugu ngivuzi. Yeah. Yeah. Nga e, e, uchobe u, uvezu kuti ugufa kawe sabi. Mm. Mwabu ya su kuti. Yes. Mm. Gatle ngiyo Abrahama kwa pa. Mm. Abrahama kutiwa uwenza. Waba le sibi ndi so kuti akula le u Isaac. Mm. Kwa unga isi kutu ya shani. Kuto wae tete utiko elizwini la okay. ututiko tebu la ali. Yeah. Mm-hmm. E wazu ututiko fana na utengo Isaac ilo. Mm-hmm. Yiko inzalo eza njani. Yeah. Eza wanda kwenye. Wae wazu utunkulukuna nga zeti ngibula ali. Mm-hmm. Uchukutu za mvusa. Yeah. So wae ngila kufalo lo kuti lo munda api. Mm. So uwe saba ugu ufa kuche ngisu uti minaka ngikolwa. Mm. Ugu uti uche eswe li zwini lake ute ngingafa uza gumbuza. Mm. Yiko ngise saba ugu ufa ngomba, eh, ngile limitation yoguti uche eswe nga ngingafa angesule gumbuza. <laughs> Oto nga ngikolu ute li zwini lake ute ngiavuga. Yeah. Ngicholi ugu ufa kwa ngiwe uwe saba. Gunja. Agari ngicheli. Abanda bande ngi ba... Basa nganisa uti nga wunu mtu sechi lai ishwa ele wutu Wutu mm. une tala mm. Ya yeah, sisi chini nge mpilo mwa sibuona wangi ele tala be shupera nje ngo chobi mm. Wa filo nga wantwana Wa kritike lai zi sebenzi Wa kritike lai noto yonke la kongongo nengi Sisi chini gambi Nga nse nge fele nga unkukulu mflatele yini Mm. ni mwone ni kukunu kambi kusa ngogona yini mm. <laughs> aku njalu wala lehila wapukeli aku zingogona karise vesino yikurumile kukali yes la ngaye nge kwaza mm. nisa kumtemba kunjalu ucho wakurumi wangoli nge mvelo ya umundu mm. umundu nga shupe kutu nkunu nkunu nguyo nse nchayi mm. ama nga kasa tanlana oguto numlimu mm. ufuna pume ngabantu mm. ucho bae ucho kuti la nga nkunu nkule vumile mm. ukuti nge shupe nge Mm. wale ngukudungu mm. ufelwe wale ngukudungu mm. ulambile wale ngukudungu so ucho bufumuzi mtembe kunjalo mm. aku veza ucho be sipakati kwe mpikiswa ni mkule mklapende mm. eo kundu iswa kukangkulu mkulu le simido sake iliswa ngusatani mm. so ucho buta hai langangi pakati kwe mpi minangi ime ngitindu hai yeah. Nifunu kudu ngusa tena ntinda, nizala ngi mkonza ngawa uvu kudu kuye ka luke mshabe. Sia kwa. Angula tupu tupe kanga nani. Uvu kudu njani. Duku duku duku. Ya, ya. Ni atatega kwa nama. Yes. Uti impi ipakati kwa kresti lo sata. Right. Yevo, ngawa nguwe, oluiswa ya kutwa, inda waka isu. Mm. Mwasu kunda kwa napanda kufesi musik. Right. Niko wasi yati kwa sata. Mm. Kangela, usema njeni ako. Mm. Uchie ukupila wake upila. Mm. All right. Watu ngenza kwa kufunayo. Mm. Watu uchie ukupila, ukupila wake upila. Nge inje la sea mvumela. Watu wa mvumela. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm. Yeah. Wa mvumela. Uchobe. Kazanga mtele mkuru. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Wala ilo keba mbelele. Mwa ezu sisa inda. Ya. Yeah. Nga yeah. usu. Ya. Yeah. Usu kukrestu. Uza nanzelelu kuti. Usulo kuzwi sisa, oku chulile, oku kuti impilo, ka ingo kutukuluzwa kwa mzimba kupe. Aye. Mm. So nga kutukuluzwa mzimba, mm. kwa process yoku susuiswa nesi tile mpilo enia. Aye, tuwa poda So, uzatoru kuti unga, unga, unga felwa. Mm. Wenu mm. lo kupile, omu nyumundu afi, ose tuze wako. Yeah. Mm. Umlimu, 
eku process yoku susa iso nesitile. Gwe. Mm. Gwe. Mm. So kumele siku so, nanzele. So ofile ka ngono kula opila. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ende wena opila yoka isiku uti osele unwono kula lu osenja. Mm. Osefi. Mm. Osefi. Mm. Uti ito kuonke ngasi nga kufaka ku context yesono esi susu wakiti. Mm. Uza nanzele kuti empilwe nesi ipila yo. No mangifele kani soze ngutate uti nye sinda abanyabana. Kota nza kutatu kuti ngingeti se abanyi abadula pagatu kwa kona doku mwabamina indela nyayazi. Nisiti tiko ez longi sono si susu wa gimi. Nikangele kuwe loko mm. kundabe mzimbeni. Kangi soze kundangadiza. Nyawazi genuinely abanyi uyatise pagatu kwa kwa. Kia begubu tungu tina mta umbe ngas kuluma vele le situation ni yako na zayo singa yeah, isi. Yes, nagatezi. Ngoba umu ntu doana uya vele tula pagati kwa kuchula kwa kubu tungu bempi. Mm. Kutu angadu anu mtu engaba le lito lo kutingi lula pagati kwa doku. Utiko utila lo kususwa mpili kwe sone mpili ni yami. Zonke izi ntuzi yami. Egele ngiti batandega yo. Inda wale estoto angayo. Mm. Kwa zis kati ingaba lula njona ngikuluma emlu nye ni wami. Yeah. Kutwa abantu nga sebe fili wa salabanyo sebe kula. Mm-hmm. Abanyo batiba afi kwa napu. Abanyo batiba sanganiso nchote zingo lengo ndo zaabu. Mm-hmm. Nga ya kufilwa. Sinafunda ukutemba njani unkulukulu. Patu kwa wunzima empilwe ni zetu. Use chilo ufelwe. Unga sa sebe nzi. Ube le tembe njeni ga mata ufe ula zaro. Tati kutwa hainya kwa atu za mvosa umle wetu ngosukulo vugo. Waba le temba. Le temba le la chobe. Ilo mm. le temba no manga ngi wulala ngi zakota nsa zanjani mm. ngi temba unkulu unkulu. Ngi wana ni ku chobe wa tandegayo ngi le temba le temba le temba le temba u chobe ngu 19 verse 25 sa u 27. Ngi mm. le temba 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 le Always start to go to the first time. Always start to go to the first time. Is it visible to go to the first time? The last time you travel is Kumbam says in Yamai, the Guru Vuga. As if money in Timber, but and the guy, it was one of the Guru Uza over later born, as a very lady Emma Tunini, as long as self as Bambes and as Gatia so crazy. Wound is indeed. Yeah, one. Now, Sikuma Mojobe, Funa Sari Silom Buzo. Right. 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 Uza kubamba nge sandla, yonki nto isa lilule, usa lumbona, uza kufusa. Lenzebe ni eshukulu uswa nga mazi, abangani. Kuto wa sala, ebona utiku. Kambu bonubani, padu kwa tukumbuzo. Nansu ndaba. Ubonubani, na nkumbuzo batandigani. Nyagwazi, wakona patu kutu, baya kala, wala lele, baya kala, wapatu kukutu. Awena kube mbetingu wazo yani, zogu felu, ayu batandigani, kasi mbwene ni unkudu unkudu. Amen. Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Di temba le tulo uti, sifunu kubu yela, kudo mm. kutafu velesi niko kuona. Mm. Mm. Siye kulisa impilo, e velesa si ilu nisi. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 This is part, yeah. yoko kutinega kudu lo, yeah. ya ntategis. Kuchu kuti kumede sibe le balansi ya impilo. Yeah. Mm. E, nga into zichelela fizikali, unga kuli. Mm. Nga into zichelela ungela gufelo. Mm. Nga into zichelela ule mali ene. Mm. Kambe ziya chele la yini egu susu eniwe sonu. Mm. Ziya chele la yini egu tini. Ngoba kukanya sile distoshi. Mm. Eyo guti nga umundu enye la ma temporal problems. Mm. Se staba nguti nga pa weze sonu. Uraiti. Mm. Uraishias. <laughs> Kuka ntige umundu angaba layo imali isonu silo kesi nga susuwa. Mm. Kube so usitu mundu ojula pagati kwa ma problems. Isono sisuswe. Mm-hmm. Guye mpidwe. So ngiti, 
whether ule into the right temporarily akucaba ngile ukuthi isono siyasuswa yi whether ujula phakathi kwama problem akuzibuze ukuthi isono siyasuswa yi whether umuntu omutsha unyathela kamnandi usese healthy ungaboni ngani you are in control ngoba mm. kwazi ukuthi usaphila kumele isono sisuswe empile siyabonga bathandekayo engunanzelayo kule sesifundo esiphuma koso lokho kuqinisa isihloko sethu mm. sokuthi kule themba yeah. ngitsho ukuthi semlele linjani elidala ngiwasibona ujobe ele themba ukuthi uzayibona inkosi yakhe mm. ya yeah. ayibona e, 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 imsusa emandleni ethona akusifundele amakhubo ngo49 verse ka15 amakhubo ngo49 verse ka15 amakhubo ngo49 yes ivesi ka15 yes iti lapha e 49 verse uh, 15 right mm-hmm. wodwa unkulunkulu uzayihlenga eyami impilo engcwabeni mm-hmm. ngempela mm-hmm. uzangithatha <laughs> angise kuye haleluya kodwa unkulunkulu uza uzahlenga umphefumo lo wami mm-hmm emandleni endawo yabafileyo mm. ngoba uza kungamukela mm. yaye zindaba ya ya kuyini okwenza umhlabeleli abe lesiqiniselo isiqiniseko kangaka esokuvuka kwakhe lokucina kokucina na ya wa wa ithemba lo labantu bonke kusukela ku Adam kuze kufike kithi mm the old testament the new testament kuze mm. kufike kithi yekuza kuka Jesu Christ mm. endulo ngale bebe kholwa ku Jesu ozakuza azokufa esiphambanweni afele izono zomhlaba mm. thina lathi sikholwa ku Jesu owazayo wafa esiphambanweni waya ekhaya ezulwini endaweni engcwele wadlula waya endaweni engcwele engcwele ozayo njalo okwesibili mm. azosithatha siye ngapi mm. eh ezulwini for 1000 years uh, uh, ngokunjalo yeah. ngokunjalo eh nxa ekhuluma ukuhlengwa kwempilo yakhe mm. engcwabeni uyazwisisa kusukela ku old testament mm. ukuthi ujesu kulesikhathaza kuyakho right. Mm. right azosithatha nxa izimilo zethu zilungisisiwe ngokulunga ku Jesu mm. uza kusithatha asiguqule imizimba siye ezulwini mm. for thousand years bemfuna lapha sengakayi phambili mm. ukuqathanisa okwenza eh, umhlabeli akhume ngale indlela ku verse 15 ungakhala mm. kusela verse ka 6 ya u 14 udinga bona ayehlukanise phakathi kwabantu abamphethe kuyo phakathi kwabantu abaphila impilo phakathi kwezithutha ngatsho njani ya ukuthi maqwala abantu lala abantu abayizikula yena ulethemba kwani yes ekunda tekisile kwabana ku verse 6 usiya fika ku 14 ungayo 15 yes ulandisa indlela abantu abalezinto abazithembile right but kula mandla phela engcwaba angala ukuthi ule malini naso nda kula mandla engcwaba angala ukuthi abakini bahleli impilo enjani ingcwaba liyakuthatha ungene kulo kule nto zonke yiku uma lokho uzidavide hayi mina engwazi uza ngikhupha kulawo mandla uma ngiphila impilo yakhe ngisaphila mm-hmm. so ilapha ibhule lidala old testament izojengisa ukuthi ingcwaba esikhala ngalo leli mm-hmm. elithetha abafowethu abazali bethu umkethu kale la mandla nxa ulo Jesu wavuka engcwaba nguye mm-hmm. lekhipe mm-hmm. so ukuthi uza ngihluthuna ngikhuphe ngoba ngikholwa yena yeah. ngenye indlela umuntu olo Jesu ngimi ngoma favuke yeah. uvele uphile ele kuphila mm-hmm. ngaxa isiya kufa kufa impilo ikuye ngoba mm-hmm. kuhlanyeliwe uzaphuma engcwabeni mm-hmm. yeah, kuqakatheke yeah, yeah. ukuthi sesaphila bala lawo bukeni sikholwe ku Jesu mm-hmm. siphile ngaye mm-hmm. ingcwaba lamandla singaba ngqobe ngo Jesu into itsho u49 verse 10 uthi ana 49 verse 10 uthi ana uza kubona ukuthi labahlakani phileyo bayafa nokuthi izithutha kanye leziphukuphu ziyafa inotho yabo bayithiyela abanye uyabona ngoba sesike sapho okay eh khuluma ndoba okay bensithi 
Kuvuza fifteen kwa nataka. Right. Mwa ya city uzawuni lutu na eleven. Uzawuni lutu na eleven. Kuba lungu stanga nisega. Wesi ni skat. Abanye ba timsa umbe. Ego fen. Kuna apa esifa. Sese lutu na. Sese ya. Sese zuri. Right. Yandi gele pumu sabi leli. Wesi chuo ego pele nguo skat. Right. Sese basu koko. Yeah. 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 Sese ge sabo na abantu bele mal. Hmm. Kutoa. Besi fawechi madema pengi. Kai zangi tenge uguti wavuge. Ende kai sozi tenge uguti wavuge. Hama ntubele zinte zine. Ugotwa izi nto zonalezo wabanyi hizu hizu wakambi. Se futi engu wabeni. Kutu chobe uti mina nyazu isisa. Uguti umle nyi wami nyi zambona kupela nga. Isi milo sake sake lwe gimi nyi sapi. Mhmm. Nga iso no sisu siwe gimi. Yiko ugu za tenga ugu tingivu. Nga ngipide ugu kukodwa. Ugu ye. Sisi ya wonga batandegayo. E nguzwa lapa ugu ti inoto. Ayeso zingi sise. Eskati so njani. So gufa. Ugu shaka nipa ugu ngele jesu. Ugu ngele sise. Kasi njani. So gufa. Kutu wa shaka nipile waka kangele. Espamba nweni watandegayo. Espamba nisa sisiza. Ufano kupenga impili yako kupenki ye zulu. Uza uti egu zenguwe nkosi impili yako kwe uifumane njalo. Nifikilo kuti mbuzo mbuzo kubala lelati. Katimanji lawa batu kona tinasia vigi kufa. Bata ndeli zinteza deni, emzimbeni, emzini ya kufa, kufalu kufa. Kutoloke kufiwa. Ama njabala leli ae nwaba, angocho nguchesu yeto kupenda. Kakula nyanga, kakula mprofeti, kakula mfundisi, kakula wabanda eleki yogufa. Nguchesu o inja yipinzo lukupili. Yeto kwa. Sisi ya bongo. Sisi ya bongo. Nga luke skuli mangenda ba inoto. Ya. Nyatatea ya kulu. Uti inoto yika vili. Ule inoto skuli mangenda ba inoto. Ule inoto skuli mangenda ba inoto. Eti la nga umuntu esesifa. Kangi ngwa chala. Mwote ya mi mzwa na ngisifa. Kangi ngeni la inga. Nichu kwanke la ma certificate na nga bengi lao. Aku na wakuza ngeni nga. Aku ngeni, yes. Kwa inoto e si milo. E si yazi u kresto. Ya. Inoto. Yo mwote la nipile. Nga kwa kwa kutazi uti. Wala lela wabugeli. Asi tinge ni inoto. E yiyo. Eza uspati. Sa wana sibe kwenye kaizu. Amen. Ote nga kwa selo wako njalo. Nga skuma ngenoto. Kwa sisi kati omye enga utata sengani sisi china ogu nota ye sonu. Ogu nota ka so sonu. Koto ogu wenza gube gubi uguti utembele eno tweli ugu utata uche sumfa ingapi. Emsamu. Ngale. Ino tuwa kumenga weshuka nisi na mkulu mkulu. Amen. Ujobye wa ino te emangalisa. Yuko ipa yutena kawula mtu wa ilu ngenje ngayi. Kutwa enjalo wa emazi mkulu mkulu waki. No tamtaka mkulu mkulu, kutwa yazi uche ufa waki. Amen. Unga wapi mkulu mkulu ni ngayeno tuwa yako. Mwapa unge kunike ini? Inoto. Utuwe wa tinta nga manda ka mkulu mkulu, haku kupa ngapi etuneni. Pele etuneni hinda wa etudile wa tandegani. Yeah, yeah. Ama kubo mu 49, ife singedika... Mkono, sasa tu makubo 49, ufuga wangu makubo 71 ni verse 20, agospa de. Makubo wangu 71. 1 ya verse 20. Verse ni liga 20. Yes. Tiona, loba usungenze, ngabona izi ntupego, izi nengi, lezi butu. Hmm. Uzangenyula, njado, egu chuleni, gomitaba. Hmm. Eish. Oya pambi, uzangenyo la, la nasa mboni nifupego zonke. Acho ni la amazu batandela. Umaswa katani sado, Psalm 49. Litemba logu vuga makonda na logu tembela eno tweni gwezi pugu pugu. Sifundani, ku Psalm 71 utinga ugu vigedwa letemba ugu tiko. Eko njodo zule izita laba mangale layo abati Utawabantu Awatutiko umchile Kwangu lukwana Kwene se ufunda watandegayo Ngaleli itemba Utavita lapana Usewente wani chapta yonke Ukuluma ngabantu Aba mslegayo Abantu bati Nkulungudu wamsengi chile Uzibone pakati we sisu 
somhlaba umhlaba lo uzibona phakathi ukuyisizwe apha ndazibona sefile sephakathi kwesisi somhlaba okungaphansi komhlabani udla xa kunjalo sengisuke emhlaba thini oligodi ngokuwelwa yisono ngapha nda ngaya ngaphansi egodini lokumbela ngomhlabani kodwa ongalo lempilo uza ngwenyula anqoba izitha aza ngobe lesithe esikhule siyikufa esikhuma kuvike phela ukuthi isa sokugcina ukufa sisa kubhidiza ngomkhulu so isinika ithemba lovuka la ukhuluma ku old testament ukuthi hayi ukuvuka kumelana ngu Jesus siphamba ntaza yekufa engakafi wayevela eluvuko yena so why enika abantu bakuthi bakuveze kithi ukuthi singesaba ukufa xa silo Jesus silempilo silovuko njalo ngoba ukufa kuba ngelo isono kodwa isono esincotshwe ngu Jesus siphila ngayo siyabonga yes ngifisa ukuthi ngikhulume ngikuqoqaba lwabantu abatsha right ngenxa ngikhangela udavid waye ngumuntu waye ikholwa inkosi yeah mm. so wayehlangana lezinhlupho ekholwa ini inkosi inkosi mm. so uzana nzelela ukuthi kwesinsikhathi xa ukhonza kuyakhanya ngani eh uphelelwe ngumphaka mm-hmm. <laughs> abantu bakukhuluma sengathi usweli okokwenza mm-hmm. bakukhuluma sengathi uthe ususweli okokwenza wabone ngani umlimo eh nguye ongadanela kuye yezinhlupho mm. ezihlangana labantu abatsha abanjani mm. abakhonzayo mm. abanye bayehluleka to hold the pressure mm. eh ngithanda ukuchallenge ucabanga ngona lo ukuthi kayisikho mm. eh kufana lami nginje umuntu omutsha ngazibhasela ku 2 form 4 mm. azibhasela ku 2 form 6 mm. unenge ngani ngaku apply la ngikwenze <laughs> kodwa mm. kwenza ngabona ukuthi ngiphile lomlimo yekuthi ngabona ukuthi kumlimu uphila ngokususwa kwesona yeah. mm. so abantu abatsha eh xa kuyikuthi sokukhetha ukuhamba lomlimu mm. make sure you are firm nge decision yakho mm. ngoba lapha sikhulunywa ukususwa kwesona yeah. mm. ngaba lama degree amaninga kukho kuba ukuba lawo kodwa xa isona singasuswanga mm. uzahlalule pressure yezinhlupheko yeah. ukanti ke xa isona sisusiwe kungaze kukhulunyweni mm. wena uthi thank you lord mm. you are confirming mm. ukuthi abantu lawa belezinto lezi kabala kuthula yeah. mina ngilo Jesu nyabe ngilo kuthula konke ngoba nyazi ukuthi isono siyasuka mm. yeah. okay. mm. siyabonga mm. siyabonga mm. umhlabeleli uyandathekisa la yeah. mm. nga bembonisa ukuthi mhlambo uNkulunkulu uhlamukele yeah. uyala uyaphika lapho uthi haji uNkulunkulu wanihlamukele anga sifunda usahlwe ngo 71 khona ba yes uyathi ukuthi Waye lami ngisesisi sika mama. Nansi nda. Waye lami ekuzalweni. Yeah. Ekukhuleni ngazi ngaba mdala. Mdala. Ula ulani. So engeke ukhoba la leli lababukele. Yokuthi xa sokunzima kwesinsikhathi uyavaleka. Ukhohle lo ukuthi kathi uNkulunkulu vele emuvale ongenzeleni. Kodwa lapha yokuzivonisa ukujileni komhlaba. Yes. yes. <laughs> lapho David uyabuyela emuva kukhumbula ukuthi hayi engilaye ngiyamanzi sike la emuva. Uhambo lolo ngihambelalo ngiyakwazi udla kathi sokukhona. Kule plan ule ndlela ngakho indlela ke. Ungingezela mbelo ukufithizela iverse akhuma ngalo verse ka 6. Uthena ngeyame kuwe kusukela ngeyame kuwe kusukela Mm. Um, ekuzalweni kwami nguwe mm-hmm. ongilondolo zile ukusukela ekuphumeni kwami mm-hmm. esisinisi ka mama ngidumisa wena njalo njalo yekufithizela okay. amazwi alethwa lapha mm. yes. amazwi yeah. asinika ku David ukuthi ungazibona sokugujizwele waba sekuzikini komhlaba mm-hmm. khumbula umlima kwenzele khona izolo mm-hmm. ungacwanga kona ukuya kunika ukukholwa ka kutsha ubambeleli mm-hmm. qabanga ngokuthi uthixo ngizelwe wangidlisa lapha lapha lakathesa ukhona mm-hmm. ngusathana ufuna ukufaka iyezele iminyama ukuthi ucine ungasabona mm-hmm. but ungakhumbula izenzi kaNkulunkulu kuyakhanya kuwe uhambo lempilo uyaqhube intathekiswa indaba ka Davida ethemba ukuthi uza ngophula ekujulile kanjani omhlaba akungifundela uyisangu 26 verse ka 14 yes uyefunda lo verse ka 19 yes mo aiza ngobani u 26 verse 14 ka 19 verse ngeli ka 14 lo 19 ethi yona ka thesi asafa Gathesi eh ngicocala ku 13. O Jehova nkulunkulu wethu, amanye amakhosi ngaphandle kwakho ake asibusa. Kodwa mm-hmm. ibizo lakho yilo lodwa esilidumisayo. Ya. Yeah. Gathesi mm-hmm. asafa kawasaphili. Mm-hmm. Imimoya leyana eyahambayo 
Kaivu, kaivu. <laughs> Wawa chesisa, wawa chabadadisa. We suda kuonke ugu kunjuda kwa verse 19. Mm-hmm. Um, what to Abba Fideo Bacoba Zapi? Bayaho is a Vuga Lina Elitala Otulini Vugani Abele in Togo. Yes, Amazolo in Afana Amazolo Eguseni. Yes, Aba Uzaba Vesa Abba Fideo Bacoba Uza Bavez Avanjan Abba Fideo. Our party was our Kafula Ushava Bafio Vanjani. Wow. Yeah. Right. I'm not sure what you have to do. You saw 14, verse 26, verse 14. You mm. saw 14, verse 14. You saw 14, verse 14. You saw 14, verse 14. You Bible is a vessel which will see cart in a poor for Ozawufaco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what was the Unga fi Unga Gafi? You would Uyamugele Uches Unga Gupa Ugutula Unga Gafi. So that now Usifa Ugufa physical, who pinned the Upilian Jadu na essays. So silent is in Bilida. Now Ungela Chess and Pilwin. Uya fa Unga Gafi. Moba Uya was a Saba Ugufa physical in Obunga Gafi. Ustala Uzan Gozinio Woody. We are Ma Sibana mm-hmm. Matre Tem Kutani Lan, we are Ufe Ufe Unagafi. So Ufagabi, Na Ungela Jess. What a Na Udo Jess Upilagabi, Upila Ukululegi, Usapi Dagates. Na Ungafa, we are Zanjado Ego Vuseca. Funism did. I would show you Gugabang is Utimoto Karam five six. Right. What a law. Ozi toko zayo, ufile esa khamba. Right. Ozi toko zayo, ufile esa khamba. Yeah. Chari uti ufile esi liru la miliso. Kwa yako si disdu. Yeah. Pati la piti mba, leti na, aba file yo pa hako, baza gufpila. Nye 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 la, opilo le chesu, uya pila, nga za hafi, ngobu za gufpila. Ngoba impilo ya kisi, nga ka paulu fil, kwa nito nito wani, oti gimi, ugu pila, Muches, who find not moving a peel and you just ging off a sunny pink. A pink going is a way of food. Balale Lababu, only brasses, Casabin Abagati, Abafil, Abacunu was a peel. Ungabin Abagasi, Tascan Kurungu, Ungabakan Kurungu, Ungazufi, we are workers with a high sense, Alan, Ukulo Zalubaba, Wafagung, Mand, a Kurimiaga, Miaga, Cotton a Thursday, Ubiza, Amachelda, Utena. Each changing a Sabbath as I cause them in one over if you guys are never saying, Yeah, about that tea, the pillar lie, let the two little possible by chain. What cons on a Sabbath, what about Zugali Escoria was in the Sadukun, Savuza case. Man in Puma in some control of Pendragon said, Look, wait. I do see what the idea Escoria was in it. Now look, Christ, too. We are peeling peeling the ponas, your wounds, and the limpid queers, so many lad. About telecoming I Yes. Yes. Jika watu sio kwa sabu, kwa tutumeli sa, kuta wanganje, umuntu ya tutumeli, kuta ogun tatege sa, ogun tosa, kuti kuzafika la pamoja pele kuna nia, masifunda, na kuti kuna apa file ngo tisifunda wa Isaiah 2619, apa file wa zapi la, izi tumbuza wao, ziza vuga futi, kuta ba zasla belila, mwa utowaza, yes, mwa sita. 
Yes. Oma was a funda in what guy is sire as fun as an eye. Sifunda near Simos or Montumal Conan and Uncodunco, Nazim Catans and Uncodunco, and Sigasa Kuma Uti in on an hour. Nazim Catans and Uncodunco, Isimos or Montu Nelis, guy is sire chapter forty. O was the doc who says, O was the doc who works as an Jan, O was the Simos or Montu Patconcojani, the Montu. Nasa kubutu chapter forty yoku maoti umuntu o yeni o do tuli and so on. Yes. Kwa o o was isi maso umuntu kwenza o kuti umuntu angazboni ingani o in control ungempi. Bano kuwa zuguti mizagufa. Kwenza o kuti ni nanzi de de o kuti kabuli ante ngazikachanga. Abona omu umuntu especially abantu benga gupa o we force lokuze ni ngani. When I um, would do that especially in young Kudumelokun direct Mankas and Nenga Kudasa Kud. Ma Munteng Anni Munse, as we as part of Sengati Valley and are in control. A court for Uti, Lesad was Lazo Sagazabazi. So Uba was wooting Yafa, Muni Vezela, a reality and pillow with any time in Yaf. I would have definition you would have cut off of Antavata. Even Muncha, we are. So when Zutin is this is in Tiluja, near an Apila in Tilonil Lazis, and Yenza Umatan, Dangi, Lima Zavant, to Nikwa Zavant, to Mikudu Zavant, to contribute a negative, empty win. Who would you contribute a negative in his appeal? So we see Pa Unkondo, would he? Jesu, Sipatis, is Sapila, sends the Oguhe, a empty way. Oh, when you go to Labana, Zabunism, by Woody. We sell a good tin, M. Saben Lapa, very separate when Piggy San. Yeah, in Piggy's on the Isa Lufa. So Ungazue Upumeleganganan, Umbuhaulaganganan, Bambu Jesu, Upumele, Bambu Jesu Howl and Vela Ugufa would lend it, Opmele, or Howl and Gulufa Pambi. Quota Pere, Kuta Aba Fileoba, Kobati Kobaza, so Fanage Unoti Uloches, Fan Howl or Loches, Moba, Impilo, you can open. Kobaza Gufa, Belong Kulu. You tata is for a mouse, a laveza, with the eye in Venetina. Since you are my tun. Yeah, I will undo us catching iron. Since you were turning, you could pay some for the sixteen. The sixteen is the light me meza. Minangati is a memeza, Nitina. What what I want to walk, one Yeah. Gabasali always Zula Amanuba Ekan. Uchani, we have won at Amanuba, I was sure. Lapo Mwea Wenkos Upepeta Pesuabo, Impela Abantu Banguchani. Uchani, we have won at Amanuba, I was sure. What I did, Gankurunkudu, Nimi was the Gube Nini Lanini. We have visa with Umuntu. Galampido, Mowaki, Winjan Wachan, and the Labatanga, and Master Safer, Cassa, Zimana Sinjan, Sinjan Wachan. We sire our cousin Jan, Utta, a logo, Vuga, Uma, Catanis, Alamas, Ratu, nineteen twenty five, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Mobana was a Vuga, Uma, twenty six, verse nineteen. Mabanjan, Uma, Catanis, Alababi, Usamu, twenty one, verse eight. See the Sabelo Sababi, who is twenty six verse fourteen. It is a no Pumelo Bani, Gogofa, according to Malakai, four verse around. I say, see, see, called Lenny Gedinda. Oh, one before Kumabana in this. Yes, full of Malakai, all the same. When Kuman, I'm a cooler, my villa, all right, and so cut and say, right. Would you in the way of corner ear tools? Kutoa abanye baza tiko na Jesus mna ngi nzalo ko. Right. Kutoa hai kamba nzangi bwa. Ogo juu tii ngavanta baso bandi, ngavanta petu msevens, ngavanta baso kambi nda baba tisi ya tisi ya kai zuli. Jesus kanga la pana nwa splatan sawa visa sawa piwe. Ogo tii ngovu nlaba, abaza ba lugu popa, lugu pele. Ngovu nlaba, abaza tola lugu pila, onga pele. E ba vuge laba la lel, tisi ya eka ya elicha, eka elingo no lapo. Oh, I send our corners in two pego. Lapo, Ugu, for Lucas Crumago. Oh, I send over corn. What the Umbu would see? Woba and Luna lavas again. Woba and lavas of England. Mass funda la Panama Sambulon, twenty one, every single eight. Eh, it's your name. Quota, Amaquala, 
Labanga Kuluayo, Labang Nolileo, Lababu Lal, Les Ping, Labatagat, Labaconza is Tombe, Lababonke, Abatam Bamanga, Isabelo Savo, Sizaguba, Ectrivini, Elivuta Umlilo, Le Solufa, Oh, you woofa, was he really? Oh, when you own Tinta, you witty. Nah, he's a pooper. Well, who pay like that? Young is who's a witty manje. Who's a one giant fundis? Now, I'm swella, Untuan. Now, I'm swelling cosigas. Who would loom and eat up? Ye, be saying, while La Panat is fund, would she? Could talk when I buy open jewel? Oh, wait, you would send in money to Umsevens or Camby. It's my funa kaya. Yes. Now, you won't only want me since I won't have a sequel. He's doing it to Pigger, Lempande, now talk at an impande, impande, very so no Saturn. Like a social Nauta Ufa, you would play the window was wonky. Massachusetts was a fiscal. Locum, I will let it see a pale fanny. It tempers fundangalo, Yes. So Kwa singa tutu meze zikotu kukonzu tito. Ya. Yeah. Masipo ngenu chesu, ngogu ufaka kwa wafuga. Ya. Yeah. Watenga, watilizi, kutu kufaku. Kubege kubawa ndese labandu. Ya. Yeah. Yiku po utapita za tina, ngiza kwacho wanga pans. Ngoba watiklea e vuga, watamanta wika niwe gimi. Mm. Ngako, lanisa ni za vuga, ngamanta hame ispambani. Mm. Masipo ngeni nguwezi kato. <laughs> Siya po. Ya. Yeah. 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 Nga, nga, omunye e kuduma. Otiena. Um, now was who came. Yeah, and there was a one to what came down with a one. Waiting now was who came. One known as a pila, who coins, Unkudunko. Kulo go to Nam Cowens. One now we would tea Namanga, who two chess years. Now so feel was a very long as a good What a level we are So, as it would we are one by you for Casponi would create to go agenda. To do go me as you practice. I want to so to be age. Lemudiake, a Ule Mali, Ulaco, I would think only then, Jule Mulule Mali, Umamen, Jule Mulule Mali, Minanginje. Sadilla, a little Muliam, the basic needs, young King Jan, anything. I would do for Nimadi again. Cot a city quacona, massive one, as if we any which is. This appeal, I would lose a good and a muddy, sleeper, which is free of charge. Keta Uti, at least on a cord of way, not on a far. We have one is with a roof. See a Kaisuki. So, as kind of a temper, good testament, and a little see our own goes to see some inch of a pole. We are go, we are fit is a local first calling them fifteen of us four set out here pants and alley. Oh, what the Ibat and the Gayo. Now go in a cold for our fileo, no cause of two ways. So, as I have said, on any said, yeah. No, so well, I guess if it's a good tea, won't a valley, my two in Mazanjani, Baza Vu, and our valley or two in which one eleven verse twenty four, Umkatan Salom sevens on twenty three verse eighty, Otin. John Levy, yeah, the mother and Pana Kuma Lucha so Christ to my little Lazarus, yeah, Otin. John Levy, who will you put him in with Gabanga, Otin? Yeah, Aluane, Ling Equitamba. No, who will be feeling? Yes. Mm. 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 M
Yeah. Mm. Which is Kagula Guvuga Egufen, Loguti, Kagula Zingilosi, Loba, Imimo, Ota Aba Farisi, Baya Guvuma Gonke, Loku Uguti Guko. Sisia Wanga Tandegam. See Ananzela Temba, Liga Martha, Lia Vuma, with a sort of testament in the chapel, where would it turn up? Why have you taken a testament in the Dana with Gulo Vuga or Tulin? Yes. Then there are a Kinis one joining a mass as well. Fumana, good Daniel chapter 12. A letter timber warning or vuga, Baba Louis Leo, Lababi, na, good Daniel chapter. Wonga Malo, because this one from the day of my name, we saw one evening. Sia Musa, we are tinta, but tinta or vuga. Got a master sister with Daniel, with tinta or vuga, Baba Lavanjani, Lava Louis Leo. See what's one Jani Lama come. Chapter 2, verse 1. Mm. Yeah, verse 1 Mm-hmm. Mm. The very person of Abafela, Kutanga is Suguma, we have a sort of a nigging peel, Eseba Vus, Minakun Nigitim, but a good Nazambula Covid, Nazambula Untarat, Nazambula Indan, Koto Vuga, Nizavuga. So, what thing you find that I saw Dava, Indava, what thing you think Nova? I want to be papi, I want to be papi. I want to be Ogo 
Yeah. Um, then Daniel, Right. Now, just So, Mumlo Moaki, Wagukuluma, Dai Wavuga. Yen and I would demonstrate the Engums in this so much for the Mars, our criminal in a good pity door. Mumlim was seized, some way to Ugut Ugufa, Mogwe to Umsabanga Pasguelang, or to Ufa foot, Mogwe to Massachusetts. Amen. You get an insane eating meaner, so I must stand the line. Baza would charm a fichane, a vessel vadela, Nade, em, Oganovi. You get an insane each local so I must stand the algo tea. Ogufa, I saw the preacher send up. It turned by a good testament edit dollar. The Timothy from an old testament edit charity donor, Abba Fidio Bako, was aware of a pity in Jan. Gaspar Menelo Timber, Gas Dowgain, but I got a singer that he wrote the Timber, so we are standing in Swinjan. It's a taste where Mabe Testament edit dad, Mas Kangela Abraham, Scangela Umsavil, Scangela Ujo. Baba le timba ganga la baba le spini selo. Mwiti yesu wa inza kuhuza. Tina espila katesa. Uti yesu se zile, usef file, se vile. Kwa ye kaya zulwini. Uwa nga gana nigiti uti itimba le tulu kini. Abamu, si abamu. Pese ngi siti kona guwa la lela babu geli. Isi tuba lo ulungu sisa iluna lela. Ali kwele ni tuba. Nga ale kwe ngwaba, akusali ngise. Asili ngise ni. Si abo, si Tata u Jesus ube logo tula inzizwenia. Amen. Ngoba inoto lani wonke ukomhlaba ngeke kuphe ukuthula. Asibende umthandazo. Baba wethu osezulini siyabo nga isifundo esihle lokusithungamela ngamandla kamoya oyincwele. Cela ukuthi senze izinqumo eziza kusenza ukuthi sifunyelele ekhaya ezulwini ngegama lika Jesus siyakhuleka ange. Amen. Sure do need him now. We need him 
every day and every hour. Meet him in the morning, 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 meet him in the night, 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 my Lord, we need him at the noonday, meet him at the noonday. Meet him at the noonday, meet him at the noonday When the sun is shining bright If we ever needed the Lord before Lord, we sure do need him now Oh, sure do need him now My Lord has said we sure do need him now Oh, glory if we ever Needed the Lord before Lord, we sure do need Him now We need Him every day and every hour Need Him when we're bad and 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 Need Him when we're sad Need Him when we're sad Need Him when we're sad Need him when we're sad, my Lord. We need him when we're happy. 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 And when our hearts are glad, if we ever needed the Lord before, Lord, we sure do need him now. Oh, sure do need him now. My Lord, I said we sure do need him now. Oh, glory. If we ever needed the Lord before, Lord, we sure do need Him now. We need Him every day and every Greetings everyone and welcome to our Sabbath School lesson study. Today we are on the fourth lesson of our theme, uh, Lesson for Life Everlasting on Death, Dying and the Future Hope. My name is Constance Nowe and I'm going to give this time to my fellow panelists to introduce themselves. Uh, greetings and welcome once again to our study. My name is Obed Kwaj. Greetings, everyone. I hope our hope is going to be revived throughout this discussion and beyond. I am Dudu Zikwev. Good morning, viewers. My name is Takudzo Mlambo, and shall we pray? To our Father in heaven, we thank you for this morning that you've given us to study your word. Thank you for the Sabbath school quarterly lesson. I pray that we may learn as much as we can, that we may be able to understand these things and that they may help us within our lives. Show this in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Um, we've gone through a couple of interesting topics throughout, uh, like the, the theme that we started. And uh, so far, we have talked about rebellion in a perfect world. And we've also talked about death in a sinful world. And just uh, the previous lesson, we were talking about understanding human nature. Today, we are talking about the Old Testament hope. And today we've got a very interesting memory text which comes from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 17 to 19. And it reads, By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead. 
from whence also he received him in a figure. So be, before we come to our lesson proper, let's introduce our lesson and bring the viewers into context and also um, <coughs> dissect this memory text as far as it speaks to the theme of today, the Old Testament hope. Yeah, um, I'm sure if we, if we remember last week's lesson, it was talking about death, right? And uh, it covered a lot of aspects about death. And one of the key takeaways was the fact that in death or during death, human beings are not conscious of what's happening, mm -hmm. right? It, it, it primarily, <coughs> primarily spoke to the fact that once we're dead, we go back to perhaps what we were before we are born, a state of no consciousness at all. So it's against this background mm -hmm. that this lesson is coming with what it is, it is calling the, 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 the Old Testament hope, mm -hmm. right? Which is the hope of resurrection as we shall see as we go throughout the lesson. Mm -hmm. So in case someone was wondering from the previous week's lesson, what happens after dying? So does it mean that's the end of everything? Mm -hmm. The lesson this week is talking about resurrection. Oh yeah, oh yeah, thank you. Okay, um, maybe if I can also come in there, um, like like what what he has just said, how the lessons are progressing. Remember the other week we were talking about the origin of death and how strange it was to Adam and Eve uh, to even see the leaf that 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 was withering. And then last week, then we looked at the, what happens in death. Mm. And if someone probably started uh, started what we looked at last week without looking at today's week would find um, no hope beyond the grave mm -hmm. in the sense that we're saying in death, even the thoughts perish, uh, your works, you are not even remembered. Mm -hmm. But this week we are saying, no, that's not the end. That's not the end. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that this lesson becomes very critical even in our day-to-day -day lives. There are times when we live like uh, we are just worried of mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. So whatever that can keep us alive, mm -hmm. Whether whether it's good or bad, mm. we will do it because we are we are worried about this. Mm -hmm. So this week also comes to us and say, no, uh, there is something that comes. There is life beyond the grave. Yes. Uh, of course, we are going to put it in the right context because you might be saying the same statement with someone else who say there is life beyond the grave, and what they are talking about is completely different from what we are talking about here. Mm -hmm. So our 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 focus today is life beyond the grave, not in the grave or after the grave, but beyond in the sense that something should happen. After we have died, <laughs> there's going to come resurrection. Mm. And interestingly, looks like a resurrection is an Old Testament concept, okay. but this week we're going to discover that even Old Testament uh, patriarchs mm. uh, who, do, who talk about resurrection, they understood it mm -hmm. as, as being something that was present. Just like Abraham, <coughs> yeah. when he's referring to, um, to Isaac. Um, oh, yes. Yes, because uh, verse 19 here was saying, he accounted the God that he was able to raise Isaac from the dead when he was going to offer up Isaac. Yeah, yeah. So, so he actually believed that there was, there was resurrection. Mm -hmm. Remember there was another quarter when we were looking at Abraham, and I remember this became a point of discussion. Mm -hmm to say what was in Abraham's mind when he was taking a son mm. whom he knew that the promises were supposed to be fulfilled through Told him. him. Mm -hmm. And probably the explanation there is that he believed that God was able to raise him from mm -hmm. the dead. From so the he, dead. he believed in resurrection as mm -hmm. early as that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I think one of the keynotes from what you're also saying is mm -hmm. the fact that even in our own lives, whatever we may see as sacrificing is in actual fact not so much a big sacrifice as okay. we, we might actually think at that present moment. Because remember, this, this was his only son. Mm -hmm. The son was supposed to fulfill the promise. Yeah. And it, it comes as though it's a big sacrifice. But when you have that hope of the Old Testament, the Old Testament hope, the hope of the resurrection, you mm -hmm. come to a point where you realize that everything else that you may lose right now can actually be restored by God. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Actually, looking at um, this week's lesson, it's, it's about hope in quite a number of aspects. 
if you look at um, Abraham Moses, who's being referred to here in, in the memory text, mm. Abraham's hope in the first instance was that he was going to be the father of a great nation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even if he did not have a child at that particular point. Mm-hmm. And he lived within that hope of that promise for quite a number of years. And when he finally received the child, then he was called to sacrifice the child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he had to do it out of the hope that the God who had carried him throughout the years mm-hmm. was still going to make a way out of that particular situation that he was being subjected to. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, we're living in a world where generally people tend to assume that everything ends at death. Okay. And then we are here then to say, no, um, death is not the end of it all. Mm-hmm. There is hope mm-hmm. of a life beyond death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, we are going to, to talk about one of the patriarchs whom, uh, for some reason, the Lord makes it clear that it is recorded that he was an upright man. Mm-hmm. Because normally when we talk of death, um, we, we, want, we are talking about the concept of resurrection. Mm-hmm. The concept of resurrection suggests that you die mm-hmm. at some particular point in time, cease to exist, yeah. and then you are given life again. Mm-hmm. But now, um, most of the times, probably in this modern day Christianity, we, we don't sort of like quickly um, buy into the idea of that phase of dying and then living again after mm-hmm. something has happened. Okay. And most of the times we think that um, for us to live continuously and not necessarily die or die but not necessarily die, mm-hmm. there has to be a, a, a qualification in terms of character. Okay. That is why most of the times even at someone's death you find someone being baptized or because we feel like you need to have some kind of righteousness. Or for them to live. To continue living, living. forever and mm-hmm. ever. Okay. Uh-huh. So now we want to learn from a man who was known to be righteous upright. and upright, mm-hmm. with no question. Mm-hmm. And um, from his account, probably before we get to the part of death, I want us to go to chapter 13 of Job, verse 15. It says here, though he slays me, Yet I will trust in him, mm. but I will maintain my own ways before him. Okay. This man had gone through a lot, mm-hmm. like he had lost children, he had lost wealth, he had mm. lost health, he had lost like um, even quality friendship with his friends, yeah. even trust from people who looked up, because he was a man who was looked upon by even the society at large. Mm-hmm. So he has suffered a whole great of loss. Yes. Now, he, after having gone through that, he says, though he slay me, yet I will still trust in him. And the slaying here is literally saying, even God slays me, mm-hmm. yet I will still trust in me. I want to talk to us to talk to um, an upright man living in this day and age who is going through hell of a life, um, what they can learn from the account of um, of job when they face circumstances which they feel they are unfair, they are too harsh, they are too so hard. Yeah, um, I think it takes us back to the lessons that we're learning some, is it the last quarter which was talking about the crucibles, Mm -hmm. right? And it was emphasizing on the fact that even righteous people actually go through trials and difficulties, Mm -hmm. right? And that's where even the aspect of resurrection becomes a a, a bigger hope because you know that even if you get to the point of death, Mm -hmm. God is still going to resurrect you. Mm -hmm. And not just, if he has the powers to resurrect from the dead, Mm -hmm. him being the person who created not just the physical human being in terms of like the physical world, but also being the person who created the non-tangible things through which the world is run, like okay. yeah, concepts like communication, okay. our mm-hmm. our minds and things like that. Mm-hmm. He can resurrect even situations. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Situations that are apparently bad. Yeah. Uh, like if you read exactly mm-hmm. if you read the story of Job, you actually realize that in the end mm-hmm. his situation was turned from how it was mm-hmm. to a better place, right? To a better situation. He restored in this present world. Yes, in this present world. Yeah. So mm-hmm. 
even before we go to the depths of being resurrected from the dead, which is a, a deeper or yeah. rather more complicated thing, mm-hmm. God can actually turn the fortunes of this world mm-hmm. in this current world. He, he still can, yes. Yes, able. Yeah, it's, it's interesting what, uh, what Aku is bringing up there, that God was even, because I was thinking um, when we were outside that Job received some, just like in, in the previous story that we were reading, mm-hmm. we ended up not mentioning it, but uh, resurrection happened. Of course, I'll put it in quotes mm-hmm. because it was not as literal as we would want it. Mm-hmm. But um, for the three days that Abraham was going to the mountain, in his mind, mm-hmm. Isaac was, was completely dead. dead. Mm-hmm. So when he saw him taking him back again, it was more like a resurrection in a figure. Yeah. So to Job again, Job he says, um, even if my flesh is eaten up with uh, with worms and whatever. Mm. Remember at that time when Job is writing, uh, he, he, had a, he had a skin disease, if mm. I may put it lightly, mm. and it was giving him a torrid time. And he was saying, even if I will lose this flesh, mm. but I will know still in my flesh I will see him. In so my flesh. In my flesh. Mm-hmm. So he was prophesying that he was going to receive his flesh again. Mm. So of course Job is going to be resurrected. That's what I believe in the end. Mm. But somehow I want us to see some miniature resurrection that happened. Mm-hmm. If you read the end of the book of Job, yes. he ended up being restored yeah. in terms of his flesh. Mm. It, it was restored. Mm-hmm. So like he is saying, uh, what do we learn from the story of Job with someone who is going through Tory time? Mm. First the things, like you correctly say that... Uh, Suffering, it's not, it's, it doesn't exclude those that are righteous. Yeah. It actually favors them. So the yeah. fact of the matter is probably the reason why you could be finding a lot of uh, challenges coming your way. Mm. It's because the devil is aiming at you, because there is a reason yes. to aim at you. Yes. And secondly, the hope that we have mm. is God is able to resurrect you in a miniature sense. Uh, maybe when we even talk about being taken from the dust of the earth, it will become more glaring mm. that you could be going through some difficult times. Here. God is able to come through yes. like he did in the story of Job. Yes. Yeah. But thirdly, no. you, you may go through all this and ignore that. I want us to realize that at the end of the day, the greatest hope that we have mm. is the hope that is going to conquer death at some time. Yes. If there is anything, yes, of course, there are many there are many fears that we have, but one of the greatest fears that humanity has is the fear of yeah. death. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if people are crying that there is hunger, it's not really that, uh, of course, hunger might be painful, <laughs> but the real fear is that <laughs> we will die. die of hunger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will die of hunger. If it's cold, we will say, ah, we will die. Cold. <laughs> so uh, death cold. becomes our greatest challenge. Mm-hmm. So whatever that we go through, takes us to death, that's our fear. Mm. And now God is saying, I'm not going to solve the cold, I'm not going to solve the hunger, mm. but I'm going to solve that which you fear, the, which more, you fear the most, which is death in so yeah. itself. In, in the context of uh, this man, Job, and the Old Testament hope, yes. what was Job's hope? In his own words, he says, I shall see God. Mm-hmm. So his hope was that one day he will see God. See God yeah. mm. Maybe let and me go to what, that first what, so why? that we expand it more okay. as you okay. talk. He says on 25, chapter 19, for I know that my, my Redeemer lives mm-hmm. and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though my skin worms destroy this body, yet mm-hmm. in my flesh I shall see uh, God whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. Yes. You, you've actually broadened the scope. I was not <laughs> going to touch all those things. But okay. Okay. We are not forced to. All, all, all the same. Uh, I was saying, mm. Job was a man going through afflictions, as, as my colleagues have, have rightly said. And throughout all the affliction that he was going through, mm-hmm. He had a hope that he will see God. <laughs> see God even, okay, see God regardless of what he was going through. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. If, if you look at, let's consider these things. His afflictions were in, 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 in various um, aspects. One, materially, mm-hmm. he, he lost Everything. Literally everything that he owned. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Social and, relations. And um, emotionally, his social relations deteriorate, deteriorated. Mm-hmm. His friends actually at some point then ended up assuming that 
all what was happening in his life was as a result of the sins he probably had committed and denied. Mm-hmm. So, and it didn't only end with his friends. Come to the family, the wife who was supposed to be a key, a key pillar of his strength. Mm-hmm. We see in verse, in, in verse 9 of chapter 2, it says, do you still hold fast to your integrity? Kiss God and die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the wife who was supposed to be supportive, but he, she's then instructing you cannot remain a man of integrity throughout all the sufferings that you're going through. Mm-hmm. And what held him through the sufferings is the hope. Mm-hmm. And one thing, one thing that I'm picking from here is that hope and integrity go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. So if you are a person of hope, mm-hmm. the, the, it will show in the way you conduct yourself in terms of your integrity. And the other thing, physically, mm-hmm. he was going through um, challenges, um, health challenges. He was, he was suffering from, from diseases mm-hmm. that could not even be healed. Mm-hmm. So all that, now that brings into context the verse that you started off with, mm-hmm. to say, even if he shall slay me, mm-hmm. We know God doesn't slay anyone. Yeah. But um, I will take this as a, as a figurative expression to say all the experiences that he was going through mm-hmm. were as good as, being, as he was being slain. Mm-hmm. But in spite of all that, he, he remained resolute in his faith that whatever happens, he will not lose his faith in God mm-hmm. because at the end, even if the worst case scenario, in the worst case scenario, he had to die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He remained confident that even death will not stop him from his hope of seeing God yeah. mm-hmm. because the same God is the Redeemer who will raise him one of the days oh, yeah. and he will have to see him again mm-hmm. face to face. Yeah. Yeah. So it speaks yeah. to the fact that God is going to resurrect him and he's going to see him in his physical flesh. Yes. Uh, something that I also noted there in verse 25 mm-hmm. is the timing. Uh-huh. Of the resurrection. At the latter day. At the latter day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's actually saying, no, I'm not going to, if I die today, it doesn't mean that tomorrow yeah. I'll be resurrected and go to heaven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at a later day. So he, 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 he is, as it were, prophesying that this resurrection mm-hmm. is going to happen at the end of at time. At particular time. Uh, which goes contrary to some who mm-hmm. I've heard mm-hmm. singing songs about someone going to, because their house is ready, and whatever, so they've gone to meet their father mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So here he's saying, no, it will happen at, a le- at the later day. Oh, mm-hmm. I thought that was also key it for was, us to notice. It is, yeah. actually. Now, um, we are now on Psalm chapter 49. I like the, um, the title of the chapter. It says, earthly riches will not last. Mm-hmm. We, we were talking about one of the most riches, richest men that ever lived on earth, yeah. Job. And... Um, here we are now talking about um, another rich man. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> people like him. <laughs> so we are on forty on chapter forty nine. Uh, I will read from verse fifteen to seventeen. It says, "But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for He shall receive me. Be not afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of His house is increased." For when he dies, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Now, um, David, if he is the author of this particular psalm, he seems to be putting together or in associating riches and death mm-hmm. and, um, and putting God in the equation. Okay. Like, I don't know, he's the, the, the ultimate um, hope of him. I want us to, to contrast the two and speak to what those verses are, are telling us as far as Old Testament hope is concerned. Yeah, um, I think the first thing is to notice that when we're talking about the resurrection mm. as, as an Old Testament hope, it's being spoken by someone who has lived righteously. Yes. For some, the resurrection will actually not be. Okay something to be hopeful about. To look forward to. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's not something that everyone will look forward to because Mm -hmm. of the implications of of the resurrection. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a time when some are going to live with 
God forever in heaven, mm -hmm. whilst others face, face their, their, their judgment, right? Mm -hmm. So I think this is, this is where it actually comes out, the issue of, of riches and, and temporal earthly glory, to say that um, a lot of people build their wealth here on earth, which is not bad, mm -hmm. but the moment you put it as your um, eternal hope or the, the, the main thing that you focus on instead of... Mm -hmm fixing your relationship with God or making sure that you're living a righteous life, mm -hmm. right? If you focus on that, mm -hmm. death is still going to come. Yeah. But resurrection will not be sweet for you because resurrection, as far as wicked people are concerned, is actually the beginning of troubles, mm -hmm. right? It's the so which then suggests them. that this hope goes beyond resurrection, if we may say. Ye yes. Yeah. Yes, actually, actually if, if, if you check... Um, Resurrection in itself, if you are resurrected to die again, it's as good as you, <laughs> you have not been you resurrected. <laughs> yeah, so that's why probably you are saying it's, it's the, the life that comes after the resurrection. Mm -hmm. But there's something that I want us to notice in these, in these texts. Mm -hmm. I know in the, generally in the world, sometimes when you read texts like this one, it then looks like it's mutually exclusive. That the rich ones and uh, the ones who leave <laughs> names in this world, <laughs> they are going to <laughs> they are going to perish. <laughs> but I like verse uh, um, verse eight. Is it verse eighteen? Mm, verse eighteen. Uh, Which one? While he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee for when thou doest well to thyself. But allow me to read this um, from New Living Translation. Mm. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become ever more splendid. I'm starting from mm. verse 6. Mm. For when they die, they carry nothing with them. Okay. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. Mm. In this life, they consider themselves fortunate and mm. the world loudly applauds their success. Mm. But they will die like all others mm. before them yeah. and they never again see the light of the day. So what, what, what it is really saying is that <laughs> When you look at the rich and they are prospering, mm. there is one thing that they can't solve by their riches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is the problem of death. Mm -hmm. Because even if they amass a lot of wealth, they've got names in this world, mm -hmm. but surely they are going to die. Mm -hmm. The one who, is, who has got riches, mm -hmm. was, uh, some might have both, yes. <laughs> both the hope of resurrection and riches in this world, mm -hmm. as long as they realize the place of riches. Mm -hmm. Riches will not solve the problem of death. Yes. The only one who can solve the problem of death is Christ, mm -hmm. who is able, after he has given you riches, mm -hmm. he is able again to resurrect you and give you eternal life. Mm -hmm. So when it says they are not going to see the light of the day, mm -hmm. someone who is a technical might want to say, ah, but everyone is going to be resurrected. Mm -hmm. But the point is they are going to be resurrected, but to do what? To die again. To die again. So it's, it's as good as they are not going to, uh, the other text, the one that will come after this one, who, who will be presenting a picture where the grave will become their permanent place. What he's mm -hmm. simply saying is that when they die, mm -hmm. if an, a wicked person died today, mm -hmm. they are not going to have life again. Mm -hmm. They may be, life again, I mean they are not going to live, they may be resurrected, mm -hmm. but only for a short while, only to die. Mm -hmm. So that's the contrast that is the, uh, riches not being able to give you everlasting life, mm. but Christ being able to give you everlasting life. Now, when you mention the fact that even the, the, you can have both, yes. like riches and righteousness at the same time, yeah, it's like it's, Job <laughs> and me. So, okay. <laughs> most of the times we associate religion with poverty. Like yeah. we feel so righteous and holy when we are poor. Yeah. Yet God has left it upon us that when we really want. We yeah. can work towards both. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. And uh, maybe that's the lesson that, that wh why the story of Job came out as well mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. lesson. Mm -hmm. That Job, when we talk about Job's righteousness, let's also not uh, forget about his, uh, his riches. Mm -hmm. Yes. The flip side, when you want Job's, uh, <laughs> Job's riches, riches, also don't forget Job's patience. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you may say, ah, I want to be like Job. But Job went through a lot. If you lose those things, are you still going to hold on to Christ? Oh, yeah. Or now your, 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 your whole hope and everything is now dependent on the riches. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yes. I actually think um, the psalmist here was helping us put things into, into perspective. Mm. The, the subject of riches, it's, it's very important for, for, for us to, to remain level-headed. Mm. 
-hmm. even if we get to have um, a number of possessions. Mm -hmm. So wealth at times is allowed to stand in the way mm -hmm. of our hope. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, your hope is then misplaced. You end up trusting uh, the things that you have. Mm -hmm. The same psalmist is the one who says some trust in the chariots some and horses. some trust in the horses, yes, okay. and but we, we will remember, remember the Lord. Mm -hmm. So is 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 really putting this thing into perspective that um, our hope should always be focused mm -hmm. and not be and not misplaced, and it's always always be um, okay. hope God. in 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 God. And then it goes on further to say. Okay, so from here we're seeing that the, the, rich, the rich will, will also die. Mm -hmm. It says the, your riches will not save you. So who will save us? Mm -hmm. it, it's God. Mm -hmm. And then it says, um, for when, that's verse 17, when he dies, he shall carry nothing away mm -hmm. and his glory shall, descend, shall not descend after him. Mm -hmm. Again, we're living in a world where people believe that death is a transition from one state of existence to another, okay. to the extent that um, people will even carry um, personal belongings when they are going to bury someone. Mm -hmm. But David says, no, you cannot take those things into the grave. Mm -hmm. Why? Because even if we take them and put them on top of the grave, they are, they are not going to be beneficial because you are in a state where you do not know anything. You cannot even utilize those things. Mm -hmm. So taking those things to the grave is, is, is a pointless exercise because they're not going to be effective. Yeah. And then after that, he then talks about um, where, where we, we derived the, the theme for, for, the, for the day, from the power of grave. Mm -hmm. It says, there is a God who shall redeem okay. me from the power of, of And redemption is quite a strong word that's used there. Okay. It, it shows that without this hope in God, mm -hmm. we, we are really we in a hopeless yeah. situation mm -hmm. because then grave without God can have power over, over us. us. Yeah. Yeah. So this is why this hope is very important mm -hmm. and this faith is, is important because grave has got power to withhold. Mm -hmm. okay. But there's one who has got the About power that's the above that of the grave, that is God. Mm -hmm. So the psalmist says then, God will then redeem me from the power of the grave. Okay. Now in chapter 71, verse 20, that same psalmist, he says, Thou which has showed me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Is he still speaking to the same concept of God resurrecting him from the dead even when he's going through sore troubles? Yeah, I, I think it, it, it highlights what we were talking about earlier on mm -hmm. because he's saying if if you who can raise from that who has shown me great and so troubles, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You can also quicken me from the trials that I'm, that I'm, you can also, I mean, bring me from the situation or the trials that I'm facing right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's talking about what we just highlighted earlier on that. Mm -hmm. Kwacha was saying there are people who trust in their wealth yeah. and riches and one one problem that they can't solve yeah. is the fact is the issue of death yeah. right the hope that god is going to resurrect us from the dead mm -hmm. which is the perhaps the most yeah. one thing that we have failed to solve as a world right mm -hmm. now we have mm -hmm. failed to solve death if god can solve that problem which is at the end mm -hmm. then everything else which is minor mm -hmm. becomes yeah less of an issue. Yeah. Yeah. It really becomes... And to me, I'm actually looking at it from the fact that <clears throat> if God created from nothing, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. that, that to me is, is it's an even more complicated or more difficult thing yeah. to do than to resurrect because he created from when there was absolutely nothing. nothing. Yeah. And then we have resurrection mm -hmm. and then we have these other problems that yeah. we have. Mm -hmm. So at, at the top of it, if we actually believe in creation, mm -hmm. resurrection should actually be less of a thing, thing to yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Later on, the problems that we have in life. Oh, yeah. 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 
so 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 it's interesting what uh, what you are bringing up the mm. the power of god uh, in in resurrection mm. because come to think of it uh, remember we're talking about someone who has been eaten and ravaged by wild animals and uh, in our minds we are thinking how is it possible mm. that god is able to to resurrect that mm. and what is bringing up i think is very key but because we will be limiting the power of god mm. if we if we say that But, but fair and fine, I also wanted to say that uh, uh, you read verse what? Verse 20. Verse 20. Mm. And there's something that I want us to see, uh, that I want us to notice there. Though which is show me great and... Uh, am I reading Soul right? troubles. Yes. Mm-hmm. Shall quicken me again mm. and shall bring me up again mm-hmm. from the depths of the earth. Mm. Uh, talking about uh, our initial point of discussion about Job. Mm. Uh, maybe in, in the, in linking it with last quarter's lessons about crucibles. Mm. It can also be talking to someone who is in the depths of the earth mm. in terms of being down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There could be someone who is down literally mm-hmm. and, uh, because of what they are going through. Mm. And they are saying, is God able to bring out life again mm. here? Yes, yes. We can talk of someone maybe who is suffering from a disease. You know, there are diseases that starts making your body uh, lose shape, mm. lose color, mm. and you are wondering, is it able? I've seen some people who advertise their products having a before and after. Mm-hmm. And uh, if, if, if Job had taken some photos right now, probably would have a before <laughs> and after. Yes. And uh, what, what this text could be saying to someone is that you are in your before. Mm-hmm. And God is saying... It's uh, the right of the psalm here with David. Mm. He's saying God is able to have you in an after situation. Now, where, you are uh, mentioning the issue of God. Have you thought that this God is even the father of the unbelievers? Yeah. And even when in, they are in those overwhelming circumstances, he yes. wants to reach out to them. He wants to reach out to them. And some, some, sometimes, I think you're bringing out a very key point. Sometimes how God reaches out to someone mm is they, they take him, them out mm-hmm. from their before situation mm-hmm. and put them in an after situation mm. and then make an instruction, go and sin no more. Yes. We see that a lot in the life of Jesus Christ. Yes. So yeah, what I'm saying right now would appear to someone maybe who is a believer mm-hmm. and maybe there could be someone who is listening who is not also a believer who mm-hmm. doesn't believe in this God. Mm-hmm. And we're saying whatever that could be, you could be down with right now. Mm-hmm. God is able to come and take you out like from the depths of the earth mm-hmm. and give you a life that looks like it's a resurrected life as it were. It might not be resurrection from death, mm-hmm. but it will be a resurrection from, from the situation in which you were going through. So if you're going through an overwhelming circumstance, just give God a try. Just, just one whisper, God help me out of this. Yes. You will surely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. he will surely reach out. Yes, David was a psalmist mm-hmm. and... Um, If you have noticed, he, use, he uses poetic language. Okay. He is, is, he's talked about the power of the grave. Mm. And now he's talking about the depths of the earth. Mm. What are the depths of the earth? Mm-hmm. So we, we, we're coming from, from the power of the grave. Literally speaking, the, the depths of the earth can still be the graves. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. When, when you die, you are buried... Yeah, the, the, that's the depth of the earth. Yeah. But again, figuratively speaking, we, 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 we could refer to circumstances where you, you get overwhelmed mm-hmm. by the situations that you find yourself in, different challenges that you, you face in life. Mm-hmm. So apart from the issue of God being the mighty redeemer who can salvage us from the power of the grave. Mm-hmm. He can also salvage us from the power of the depths of the earth. Even, even if the scenarios do not lead to death, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. those afflictions in themselves can be overwhelming where we become hopeless. Like Job could have been when he was suffering from the disease and having lost everything and everyone around him. Mm-hmm. That could figuratively speaking be termed the, the depths of the earth, the situation that he found himself in. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the, the verse that we, we referred to, 
Then the psalmist says, you, you who have showed me great and severe troubles shall revive me. Mm-hmm. Revival is, uh, in this context, I think some, some kind of restoration, restoration to the circumstances or the scenario that you were in before. Mm-hmm. That will be, if we talk um, health-wise, mm-hmm. um, the restoration of your health from your sickness, mm-hmm. the restoration of, of your well-being mm-hmm. from, from a depressing situation or circumstance. Mm-hmm. So I, um, I, I, find, I find the language used here um, quite interesting. And if we read um, deep into it, yeah. David is literally covering all circumstances from the trials and tribulation up to death and in all of them figuring out God as the only hope. Oh yeah. Um, in Isaiah chapter 26 the, the theme of the chapter says it's a song of confidence in God. Mm-hmm. And verse 14 says they are dead, they shall not live they are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them and made all their memories to perish. And verse 19 was saying, Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body. Um, shall they arise, awake and sing, ye that dwell in the dust? For thy Jew is as the Jew of the herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Mm-hmm. Now he's using they, they, they. Um, what are we learning from, from these two verses? So the, 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 the chapter says a song of confidence in God, but it seems to be speaking to two different groups of people having different faiths. Yeah. Right, because we're talking about Old Testament hope, mm. I think it brings into perspective what we usually read about in First Corinthians chapter 15, mm-hmm. where Paul goes um, into details about... Um, the state of the dead and how the dead will be transformed, their, their corrupt bodies receiving incorruptibility and, and things like that, mm-hmm. where he actually uses an allegory of a seed mm-hmm. that's buried on the ground and it springs forth. Mm-hmm. But this is Isaiah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it says, your dead shall live. Mm-hmm. At times we have questions on how exactly they will live. Mm-hmm. He, he talked about, um, I think what I mentioned earlier on, you no, know, the circumstances that before people, mm. uh, some people are bent beyond recognition, some people are devoured, mm. devoured by animals and all those situations. Mm-hmm. And then the question will be, how are they going to live again mm. okay. when they have been subjected to um, those situations mm-hmm. where humanly speaking you think okay it's the end of them mm-hmm. um, somebody bent beyond recognition you do not have the bones you do not have what so how is he going to resurrect them mm-hmm. so we saying we're talking about a powerful God here mm-hmm. who in the first place did not have the material that's now a subject of our concern mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He didn't have the bones when he first created. Mm. He didn't have the flesh. He didn't have any of the parts that I have. Mm-hmm. So if we have, if, if we have hope and faith in such a God, it should not be a problem then to say at the end of time. So when he resurrects people, how is he going to do it? Because of the situations that we've mentioned. I think the author also mentioned some of those. So this is a, a powerful God who created out of nothing. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if he created out of nothing, mm-hmm. there is no challenge in, he, in him recreating. Mm-hmm. Actually, as the Bible tells us, even if God finds us alive, mm-hmm. we're not going to take these bodies into heaven. We're going to be transformed and given new bodies. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. that was my take from... I normally see it as a scenario between a manufacturer and probably a mechanic, okay. the type of a situation. Okay. Um, probably if maybe your Mercedes Benz and it's manufactured by Mercedes, right? 
a mechanic can fix it when it's having a little bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. But there's times where it gets so complicated that they tell you that for, for this particular problem, go to the, to the person who manufactured it because the situation is now even more complex. Mm -hmm. right? I'm looking at it in that sense to say, God being the one mm -hmm. who created us, who manufactured us, that was a more complex thing mm -hmm. than resurrecting us or fixing us. Mm -hmm. It's more complicated to make a computer from scratch okay. than to fix it if it has a problem. I'm sure you've also fixed your, your phone, maybe or your computer at home mm. without here. Yeah. <laughs> but but you wouldn't, you you can't make one from no, scratch, no. right? You don't have yeah. So make two. <laughs> <laughs> so if we understand the fact that God created, mm -hmm. it becomes less less complicated that he can actually <laughs> resurrect the dead. Now I'm I'm also thinking of Ezekiel chapter 37, mm -hmm. right? Ezekiel chapter 37, the first part generally talks about the vision that Ezekiel saw. Mm -hmm. um, and and, and, and it, it's a vision where God came to him and showed him a, a valley that was full of dead, dry bones, right? Mm -hmm. Very, very dry bones. Mm -hmm. And then God says to him, um, son of man, can these bones live? Mm -hmm. And then he, uh, yes. he goes on to say, Lord, thou knowest. In my, in my mind, I'm thinking, he's just saying, ah, you know what? Because we can't, we can't really doubt yeah. God. But <laughs> these ones, I don't think they can live. Mm. If God had been with Ezekiel before creation, when there was nothing, mm. then he says to him, mm -hmm. can a world come out of? Can, okay. can we can have I, a yeah. world? Mm. I'm very sure his, his response would have been more difficult than this one to say, Lord, thou knowest. It would have been, it would have been really overwhelming for him. Yeah. So, but then the, the, the story goes on to say that um, after that, God told him prophesy and then the bones lived. And, mm -hmm. and um, if, you, if, if you read particularly from, from, from verse 12, let me just read chapter 37, verse 12. It says, therefore, prof therefore prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord God, behold, all my people, mm -hmm. I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves mm -hmm. and bring you into the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. the bones did actually live, live yeah. right? And um, it's not just a lesson about physical, physical death and mm -hmm. being physically resurrected. Mm -hmm. I've always looked at it even from a more spiritual perspective that there's people in situations where you know that religion is now a dry formality and a mere drudgery. You are just going to church, but mm -hmm. you're you just dead. Mm -hmm. Even when you pray, you're actually thinking of something else. You don't even mean what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you preach, it's not even, you're not even just there, you're just talking. Mm -hmm. And, 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 the lesson here is also, to me, is also saying, even when you're in that situation mm -hmm. of death, spiritual death, mm -hmm. the question that God is posing is, son of man, can these dry bones okay. live? And the hope of the Old Testament resurrection is that God can actually um, resurrect mm -hmm. not just the physical, mm -hmm. but even the spiritual. Remember, he, he created not just the physical world. Mm -hmm. He also created the spiritual world yes the psychology, the mind, mm -hmm. everything, not just the physical mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. So even this, God can resurrect us from, from, from spiritual death. Mm -hmm. So, so, so yeah. the way that Isaiah thinks mm -hmm. and uh, is the way that he is presenting resurrection. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if you want to, to have a feel of how, how you view God, mm -hmm. uh, it comes out in Isaiah chapter 40. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he contrasts the permanence of God. Mm -hmm. uh, in Isaiah chapter 40, he uses terms like the grass withers, mm -hmm. but he, he, he lives forever and ever. Yes. God does not die. Mm -hmm. So he is now presenting that as God being able to share mm -hmm. his permanence mm -hmm. or his ability to, to live without dying. Mm -hmm. And he is able to pass it on. Mm -hmm. And secondly, something that I also wanted to notice, maybe as we prepare even to go to the climax, mm -hmm. is that he is transiting because the previous speakers, the previous patriarchs were talking about personalizing resurrection. Mm -hmm. Say, I know mm -hmm. he will resurrect me. me. He, will, he will do this to me. Mm -hmm. Now Isaiah is saying they... Like we are asking why he is using the, mm. so he's now kind of talking about a special, 
not a special, a collective or a general resurrection as it were. Mm -hmm. I think if, uh, lessons that will come, we we'll also talk about uh, even in the life of Christ, there are personalized resurrections mm -hmm. that happened. Mm -hmm. uh, people experience their resurrection before the general resurrection. Yes. People like uh, Lazarus. Mm -hmm. And like, like we said, uh, in, a, in, in, in a figurative sense, mm -hmm. there are people that also experienced some sort of resurrection, mm -hmm. which is not the uh, general resurrection. Yes. Like Job, mm -hmm. I'm not saying it was literal resurrection, but in a sense it was resurrection because his body was resurrected mm -hmm. from a point where it was hopeless to something. Mm -hmm. Now, Isaiah is not talking about a general resurrection, and it is key for us to notice that there's going to come a time when the resurrection will be general, mm -hmm. when all those that died believing in God mm -hmm. are going to sing uh, uh, with joy, like what Isaiah is saying. And resurrect. Yeah. Now, let's, let's, let's go also not forget the contrast um, that's brought here about um, the the righteous and the and and, and the unrighteous. Mm. Yeah. If it says your your dead shall live, mm -hmm. which ones? The righteous dead. Mm -hmm. And there is also the the flip side of it, the yes. the unrighteous. What will be their fate? It's it's also discussed there. Say okay, yeah. even those who will not have died mm -hmm. at that point. And we are given Malachi chapter 4, verse 1, who says, For behold, the day that day comes that shall burn as an oven, mm -hmm. and all the proud and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Mm -hmm. So while there is hope for, for, for the righteous dead, mm -hmm. And even the general righteous who will still be alive when, when Christ returns for the second time, mm -hmm. there, there is the fate of the wicked on the other hand, yeah. mm -hmm. whether they are found dead or they are found alive. Mm -hmm. So as we talk about this hope, let's also put into perspective that it is the same hope that determines, that help us um, live and that will actually determine on which side we fall. Mm -hmm when this day that Malachi is refers to comes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whether if we if we would have died, whether there is hope of a resurrection mm -hmm. unto eternal life mm -hmm. or the resurrection unto condemnation. Yeah. We are on chapter twelve, Daniel, yeah. verse one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stands for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even uh, to that same time. And at that time, the people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Um, let's talk about what Daniel is referring to here in this. Um, it looks like he was copying from the words of Job. <laughs> Job says, I know that my redeemer liveth, mm -hmm. and at the end he will what? He will yeah. stand. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 So it looks like uh, <laughs> looks like they are talking about the same thing. But 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 I think uh, Daniel chapter 12 should be understood in the context in which it is given mm -hmm. for it to to make sense. Mm. But uh, maybe for the sake of this lesson, we just highlight what comes, especially in verse 2. Mm. But when it says at that time, mm then it's obviously referring to the time that is before uh, we go to phase, to, to phase one. Because okay. I can just stand up and say at that time, mm -hmm. before, before giving a context of the time. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, chapter 11 gives us the context of the time. Mm -hmm. So he, he talks about the, um, uh, the Michael standing up. Mm -hmm. And I know the debate about Michael, some do not view it as I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I view, I, when I said the Bible, I find Michael to be Christ himself. Mm -hmm. So when Michael has stood up, then verse 2, ignoring the rest, so that maybe we go to where, where, where this lesson, mm -hmm. where it fits within our lesson. Mm -hmm. It says, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth. Mm -hmm. So the word many mm -hmm. is different from all. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Because he's not saying all oh, that sleep in the dust of the earth, mm -hmm. but he's saying many that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Mm -hmm. And many is not even in comparison. Because someone might say, ah, so there is a greater portion. Mm -hmm. No, it's just saying there were so many. People. Yeah, it's just he's saying it was not one person, mm -hmm. but it was it, there were more people. So many that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Mm -hmm. And he then says, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Mm -hmm. So I want us to notice that. Uh, 
the reservation that we talked before uh, previously mm -hmm. was a personalized. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last section we say it was now general resurrection. Mm -hmm. And now this one is not, is none of those two. Yes. We can only call it a special resurrection mm -hmm. because two groups of people are, are resurrected in this instance. Mm -hmm. Some are, are resurrecting to everlasting life, mm -hmm. some are being resurrected to everlasting shame. Mm -hmm. In what we call the first resurrection, mm -hmm. we know that everyone who is resurrected is resurrected to everlasting life. Yes. Second resurrection, everyone who is resurrected mm -hmm. is resurrected to everlasting contempt. Mm -hmm. So this one is neither of the two, mm -hmm. and we call it a special resurrection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I, I think could be a good background for us oh, yeah. to appreciate that. Oh, yeah. My take will be, which will be my final comment, um, when, when, when Daniel talks about many, those that sleep, mm. that to me is the hope that um, our patriarchs had, that um, death is not permanent. Yeah. Mm. You remember the allegory that was used by Jesus when he said, our friend Lazarus sleep yes, and the disciples said, no, if he's sleeping, he will do well. Mm -hmm. Say, no, he was referring to death. Mm -hmm. So Daniel uses the same language that those who die for now, they are asleep, mm -hmm. and there shall come a time mm -hmm. where Michael, and I believe Michael is Jesus, mm -hmm. and, and Michael shall stand, and will not only stand for the living, but will stand even for those who will have slept in the dust oh. of the earth. Oh. So to me, that is the great hope that will that shall carry us through out this walk of faith. And yeah. even for someone who is being faced by death, even as we speak right now, mm -hmm. the hope is the God whom we say he created from nothing, surely yeah. he can speak life to you at this very moment. And we've learned that um, our greatest um, blessing is not in the restoration of health per se, but it is having the presence of God himself with us. Because we've learned that um, it, when we are, we are with God, we have got the blessing even of eternal life beyond that the resurrection. Yeah. So yeah. even if we sleep, we know that we are sleeping only to be resurrected, to be with Christ um, for eternity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My last comment would be from Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. Um, we've learned about the resurrection mm -hmm. and verse 10 then says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Mm -hmm. You just spoke about how some will resurrect to contempt and some to Everlast. everlasting life, right? And Daniel is just reminding us that many shall be purified. Mm -hmm. So implying that at some point in time they were not purified. Mm -hmm. So in case you're also living a life that's not righteous, there's still hope the Bible okay. is saying many shall be purified so that when we talk of the resurrection, it's hopeful to you. It's hope to you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Um, we've come to the end of our lesson today. Thank you so much, viewers, and we look forward to meeting same time next week as we continue uh, with our theme study. For now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the lesson that was before us. We want to thank you for revealing the hope that has always been there, even um, during the time of the Old, and Old Testament uh, times want to thank you for even the same truth is still living right now. Speak to each and every one of us who is in different circumstances that, Lord, we may surely find and hold on to that hope which is in you. This we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Jesu ndiye mambo Chichano kara nae Kurenga Kumusha wa baba Mufaro Chete chete Neva chende vake Ziso harisa tiraona Zeve harisa tiranzwa Izo krista gatiria Vano tenda vake Ziso harisa tiraona Zeve harisa tiranzwa Izo krista gatiria Wano tenda vake Kudenga Kumusha wa baba Mufaro Chete chete Neva chende vake Hama tende ukanasi Jesu achiri kudana Mukana uchiri ponasi We kuno karanae Hama tende ukanasi Jesu achiri kudana Mukana uchiri ponasi We kuno karanae Kude Neva chende vake Kudenga Kumusha wa baba Mufaro Chete chete Neva chende vake Neva chende vake I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our message today is entitled, The Silver Lining in the Book of Revelation. The First Resurrection Blessing. The First Resurrection Blessing. Shall we pray? Our kind Heavenly Father, as we read your word, may you speak to each one of us and help us to get the blessing of the first resurrection. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Revelation chapter 20, verse six. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such, the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign a thousand years. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. You see, in the book of Revelation, when we see the persecuted and the saints dying for their faith and uh, all these other things, People might think that the book of Revelation is very gloomy. But Revelation chapter 20 tells us clearly that death is not the end. After you die, the Bible makes it plain that there are two resurrections separated by a thousand years. 
commonly known as the millennium. Before the resurrections of the dead, the dead do not know anything. Neither do they praise God. However, the undeniable fact is that all will die. And before you die, you have to make a choice as to which resurrection you will belong. The first resurrection or the second resurrection. Ecclesiastics reminds us clearly in the book of his, uh, I mean Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 9 and we read verse 5 and 6. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also, their love, their hatred, their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Yes, we will die. And the Bible puts it clearly that when we die, we will know nothing. We cannot love. We cannot do anything after we are dead. If you have to love somebody, love them now. Somebody has sung a song and says, don't scatter roses after I am gone. Give them to me while I am still alive. The Bible says their love, their hatred, their envy is perished. Then Psalm 115 verse 17 says, The dead do not praise the Lord, neither any that go down into silence. If you have to praise the Lord, praise him while you are still alive. Sing praises to his name. Bible says here, in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. And as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. It is appointed to man once to die, and after death, there is the judgment. The book of Revelation paints a picture of this. Time of the end. We are looking at the silver lining in the book of Revelation. And when we read Revelation 20, verse 1 to 3, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years be fulfilled. And after that, he was loosed a little season till the thousand years. I want to say the book of Revelation gives us good news. Good news, my brother. Good news, my sister, that the devil will be destroyed. Romans chapter uh, 16, verse 20. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your foot. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. The devil who is troubling us. And in the book of Revelation, instigating persecution, instigating uh, people to receive the mark of the beast, instigating people not to love God or to worship God, instigating people to imprison God's people. He himself, the Bible says, is going to be put in prison. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that he might be tested. And for 10 days, you will have tribulation. But be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. He that 
caused the people of God to be thrown into prison. The good news is he himself will be thrown into prison. Revelation 20, verse 4 to 5. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Christ and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither received the mark upon their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until a thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. The Bible says there will be two resurrections separated by a thousand years. John chapter 5, verse 28 to 29. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and they shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. These two resurrections are separated by a thousand years. Revelation 20, verse 11 to 12. And I saw a great white throne, and they sat upon it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was no more place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. What our works are will determine whether we will be in the first resurrection or in the second resurrection. But the first resurrection is the blessed resurrection. So that's why Ecclesiastes 12, verse 18 to 14 reminds us, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. I want to tell you, my dear brother, my dear sister, you can hide your sins that your family might not know. You can hide your sins that your fellow church members might not know. Your workmates might not know. But you cannot hide it from God. God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Revelation 20, verse 13 to 15. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged according to their works. And the dead and death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. My dear brother, my dear sister, let us choose to be in the first resurrection. Acts chapter 24. Verse 15, and have hope toward God, which they themselves also allow, that they shall be a resurrection of the dead, both the just and the unjust. They shall be a resurrection of the dead, both the just and the unjust. My dear brother, my dear sister, which resurrection will you belong to? If Jesus comes and he finds you dead, which resurrection will you belong to? There shall be a resurrection, both of the just and the unjust. 
Luke chapter 14, verse 13 to 14. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee. For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. They will be, my brother, a resurrection of the just, which is the first resurrection, which the book of Revelation tells us is the blessed resurrection. That's why Revelation 14, verse 13, reminds us, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord henceforth. Yea, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Why, blessed are the dead which die in Christ, because there is the hope of the first resurrection, the blessed resurrection. This is what the Apostle Paul prayed for in Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 to 11. That I might know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I may attain unto the resurrection of the dead, that I might know him, my dear brother, my dear sister, it is only those that know Christ. It is only those that follow Christ now who when they go into the shadow of the uh, valley of death, when they die, they don't die miserable. They die with hope because the first resurrection is coming which has blessings. You know, I once uh, saw a, a drawing in, a, in, in one home and in this drawing, there was uh, a man who was running away from a lion. And he was heading for a tree. But in the tree, there was a big snake. And uh, uh, beneath that, uh, the, that tree, there was a river. And in the river, there were crocodiles. And it was written, no one can escape death. At first, I thought this person, this artist, really had some truth to say. But I am here to bring you good news from the book of Revelation. That we can escape death. We can have the first resurrection. And we can only escape death through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life my brother, my sister, the way to run away from death is not to have the best doctor in town, although that is important. It's not to look for witch doctors or to look for any prophet because the witch doctors die, the prophets die, the medical doctors die. But there's only one who is recorded in the book of Revelation who says, I have the keys of hell and death. And that very one is Jesus Christ. And if we die, my dear brother and my dear sister, holding on to Jesus, we have hope for the resurrection. Now, Mary and Martha were troubled when they had sent a message to call Jesus and Jesus delayed. They had sent a message saying, Lord, the one whom you love is sick. And the Bible testifies that Jesus loved Lazarus and Mary and Martha. The one whom you love. You see, this world, those that are loved by Christ will also get sick. Those that are loved by Christ will also get into problems. But it's not the end. John chapter 11 Verse 23 to 27. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. And Martha said unto him, 
I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? And she said unto him, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. I am the resurrection and the life, Jesus says. And I want to say the book of Revelation has this silver lining that you and me, whatever we will go through during the end times, we should hold on to him that has the keys of life and death. We should hold on to him who will make us rise in the first resurrection. Portraying this first resurrection, the Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 15, verse uh, 50 to 55, he says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So, when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Today, death stings us by disease. It stings us by pandemics. It stings us by accidents. It stings us by war. And we are gone. But happy are they who, when they are stung by death, they are holding on to Jesus Christ. I say, my dear brother and my dear sister, those that are holding on to Jesus Christ, even in death, they shall have part in the first resurrection. They shall not have part in the second resurrection, which is the resurrection of damnation. Even Daniel portrayed this in the book of uh, Daniel chapter 12, when he spoke about the end time, and he said to us, Daniel chapter 12, he says to us here, verse 1 to 2, at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone who shall be found written in the book, and many that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. My dear brother, my dear sister, Revelation is here to warn us that we should make the right choices. We should make the right choice so that we can be in the first resurrection. To make the right choice so that when he comes and the trumpet sounds, we can be able to rise. And when we rise and Jesus is calling us home, we shall say, Jesus, we have one word to say to the grave. Angels, don't hurry to pick us up. We shall stand by the graves and we shall say, O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? Death and graves have power. The greatest in nations, that's why they are heroes, acres in different countries. They have been swallowed by death. 
but those that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ shall have everlasting life. Which resurrection do you choose? I choose the first resurrection. I want to say with uh, Moses today, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, I call heaven and earth to record against you that I have sent life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed might live. It was Joshua who said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Choose ye this day whom you shall serve. In the silver lining, choose which resurrection. I choose the first resurrection. Do you want to join me to choose the first resurrection and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that you might be saved? If that is your desire, may you bow your head with me as we pray. Our kind Heavenly Father, we want to thank you that there is a silver lining in the book of Revelation. Problems, trials of the end times are going to come. But Lord, our eyes upon thee, that even if we might die, we might have part in the first resurrection. We bow our heads to you today, Lord. Write our names in the book of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.